This video is about to get a whole lot of hypocritical today. <laughs> I tell you what though, the sun has done good to my skin and I'm looking healthy and brown. Praise the Lord Jesus. <laughs> right, let's get started. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel where it never gets more real than right here. First of all, I just want you to excuse me. This boy right here is a bit ratchet today. Like, trust me, I already had this video filmed and ready to go. Let me tell you, I was just coming to edit it. I think to myself, why do I look so fuzzy on the big screen? Two twos, I find out that my camera went in focus. So I'm about to shoot this <laughs> again. I'm about to lay down the law on this video one more time and you're gonna see some things. The devil thought he could be rampant with me today, but let me know, God is on my side and he is about to deliver Deliver this video to y'all real quick so you don't best hold tight and book in your seatbelts because this road's about to get real rough right now. Anyway, now this is gonna be real hypocritical because I'm dressed so ratchetly today. Like, I do not like wear this at all. You see this going on right here? I have to keep on looking at myself. You see this right here? This is never me. Like, my hair is done. I am always on fleek. And this video is about being on fleek, but today is not my fleeky day. Today was my I'm gonna do everything day. This was my practical day. This is why I look like a shabby mess. So don't judge me, but yes. Now, Today's video is going to be about five facts to always looking fleeky. Now the reason for me doing this is my like, my passion for fashion. No, that's so cheesy. My um, interest in fashion, well, it started when I was about 13 and I started to realise everybody else started to dress up and I was still wearing stuff I didn't feel quite comfortable in and um, I thought to myself you know what I'm gonna start spending a bit more money on my clothes I'm gonna start like taking care of myself looking after myself and taking an interest in what I wear and I stopped in town recently and this man was like yo I like what you're wearing and I was like oh thank you and like not to sound big-headed like I'm not doing it to like glorify myself or to big myself up at all but I just appreciated the fact that he'd come and stop me and ask where I'd got my clothes from and what my inspiration was for wearing what I was wearing and to be honest with you I was only wearing a sweatshirt, black skinny jeans and Doc Martens but obviously this guy liked it so I was like fair enough and I just thought you know what like let's just give some general advice do you know what I mean we're all here to share and tell. We're gonna go more into the specifics further down the line but I feel like just some general advice let's get cracking. Now the first one is to find out what colours and styles you like. Now this is a big one for me because I believe that finding your own styles and your own colours, especially when it comes to fashion, is going to make you feel more comfortable in what you're going to wear. And if you feel comfortable in what you're going to wear, you're going to want to take more interest in it, if that makes sense. If you find out what your likes and interests are, if you like wearing certain colours, certain styles, if you like wearing oversized things or long line things, or if you like wearing like slightly cropped things, then find out what you like and you wear what you want to wear. And and don't let anybody put you down. Like, some people are gonna have opinions, but let them talk their foolishness, fam. Like, if you wanna dress how you dress, you dress how you dress. Don't let anybody tell you different. As long as you're comfortable in what you're wearing and you're, and you're confident and, and you're happy with what you're wearing and it's respectful to the environment you're in, I believe that you should wear it. And, and yeah, don't let anybody tell you different. My second piece of advice is if you're ever in doubt, wear neutral colours. I feel like sometimes when you wake up in the morning you don't really have anything, you're kind of looking for your wardrobe, like always go with neutral colours if you don't, if you're in a rush and you need something to wear because they're so easy to put together and they're so easy to, just to put with anything, like white and black especially go with anything, the same with grey, grey really goes with just about anything, so I always say put greys, creams, blacks, whites together and you can pick a wicked outfit just by using your neutral colours but I would just suggest don't get Get too much into it don't always use your neutral colors because otherwise you're gonna just look a bit I'm not say bland but you're just gonna you know what I mean you want to spice it up every now and again so don't get stuck into the habit of using neutral colors all the time now um, on the back of that my third piece of advice is if you're confident using color use color don't be afraid to add color into your dress sense I'm not saying that you have to wear colors that you feel uncomfortable wearing but generally if you want to wear like yellow pink you wear yellow and pink 
as long as it as long as what I try to say is if you want to wear like bright colors or if you want to wear different colors together make sure you can find accents within what you're wearing to match the colors together use the accent color in accessories in things such as I don't know shoes bags trousers use the use the accent color throughout your um, outfit to kind of coordinate the outfit a lot better I feel like the more coordinate you are, then, then the more the outfit's gonna go. Now, dress for the occasion is my fourth piece of advice. Make sure you dress for the occasion. There's a time and a place for everything, and I feel like if you're going out to somewhere which is quite high end, you're gonna need to wear something that represents something high end. Um, but then saying that, I also feel like don't be afraid to be wearing like joggers and things in the house. Like I'm a person that doesn't really like. I'm not gonna lie, and I might get a few haters for this, but don't judge me, hallelujah. Um, I don't really like to see tracksuit bottoms outside of the house, or joggers, um, or like sweatpants. Um, don't get me wrong, if you're, like, you're a dancer and you're going to dance, or like if you're, going, if you're doing like, different activities, then fair enough. But like, if you're meeting a friend in town, like I don't mean to be rude, I appreciate it if you are not wearing joggers. It just feels like you woke up and you can't really be bothered to see me, and you're like, oh, I'll just throw on something. At least make an effort so people can, and, it sounds quite bad, but in today's society, we rely on first impressions. So, those first 10 seconds of seeing somebody, you kind of already build up a picture. You need to be careful um, and make sure you dress appropriately for the occasion. And my fifth and final bit of advice is plan your outfits. Now, people may see me as being a bit extra for saying this, but genuinely, it helps so much. Like, I even go to the extent of when in the morning, well, the night before, I'll go to my wardrobe, I'll get out my iPad and check the weather for the next day and plan my outfit around the weather. Because if I want to wear suede shoes tomorrow, but I know it's going to rain, I'm not going to wear suede shoes because I know my shoes are going to get ruined. So I'll adjust my outfit accordingly. And it sounds stupid, it sounds extra, but genuinely, if you could, and obviously the weather is unpredictable sometimes, you can't help it, but I feel like if you plan your outfits, one, it saves you time in the morning when it comes to getting ready because you've got plenty more time to get ready um, and you're not sorting through your wardrobe thinking what you're gonna wear second of all you can iron and get your stuff ready if you don't iron your clothes before putting them in the wardrobe which saves you more time on the back of kind of what I said previously about um, dressing for the occasion sometimes if there's a special event or I'm going somewhere and I, I want to kind of look the part I'll also like plan my outfit for that particular occasion and I want like one amazing website and I, I would recommend it to the heavens and back is Pinterest. It is an absolutely amazing website for inspiration on outfits and clothing. I would say when it comes to Pinterest, be realistic. Like, I wouldn't say copy exactly what the models are dressed like because I feel like sometimes we build up this impression that we're gonna look exactly the same. You gotta remember they're completely different people. So, and like, it might, the clothes might look different on our skin tone or it might, the clothes might fit us differently compared to how it fits models. And um, so I definitely recommend Pinterest. Go check out Pinterest. So, this week's weekly obsession is my boots. Um, these boots are so fire. I don't know if you can see them. I got them in Barcelona, in Spain, um, and I was walking through this quainty little shop, um, and they were there, and I was like, oh, Andre. And I was just like, nah, fire, I need to get them. And then when I spoke to the woman, she was like, yeah, they're handmade. I was like, sorry, what? She was like, they're handmade. I was like, okay, fine. I was like, I'll just buy them. She was like, do you know the price? I was like, I don't care. Um, but I, they, I just thought they're so nice and they've got like animal fur inside they are the most comfortable shoes ever tell me that old boots are comfortable right come try on these then come tell me because I know for a fact these are more comfier and I sell old boots the fact that they were handmade as well just shows that they're the only of their type in the world and I, I am so grateful and privileged and honoured to really own a pair of these Turn up to the weekly obsessions everyone. What's your weekly obsession? Leave it in the comments below. And the best weekly obsession gets a shout out next week. Whoa, you ain't ready for this jelly. And that's all really guys. Um, thank you so much. Um, on the back of all that's been said, I do have an actual lookbook on Instagram. So um, every two weeks I post a different, uh, well, a new outfit or a new look. I've recently just done one for an outfit under 50 pounds. Please, if you're not following me on Instagram, please follow me. It's literally just Josh Elliot and replace the E with a three. Um, but yeah, please follow me on Instagram. Please check out my lookbook. Please add me up on Facebook. Please, if you've liked this video and you've enjoyed the advice, please give me 
me a thumbs up and please subscribe below. And um, thank you so much to all those who have subscribed and who have given me thumbs up and amazing comments on all of my videos and, and um, all the comments on Instagram. You're a massive help and a massive encouragement and I literally thank you so much. Please, if you've got any more comments or if you've got any other advice, please leave it in the um, description box below or the comments below. Thank you so much for the support, guys. Have a great day. Have a ton up week. Enjoy yourselves. Keep brushing your hair. Keep brushing your teeth. Keep washing your face. Keep washing your hair. Keep creaming your body. Make sure you always look fleeky. Stay real. Stay ream. Stay ton up. Have a great day. Have a ton up life. And I shall see you next time, guys. Bye! Woo! Oh, yeah! Woo! I look like a hot mess! <laughs> right, over and out.